In today's tutorial we're doing the adult and the child size version of the big fringe triangle scarf. Let's begin right after this. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to work on the Big Fringe Triangle Scarf and this is a really neat pattern and it's calling for Bernat Satin Sparkle Yarn but you can also use regular Bernat Satin if you wish if you can find that in a retailer near you. Remember that you can always go on to Yarnspirations.com to place your orders for anything that you're seeing within the videos. Now today we're uh, working on this particular pattern and it is for adults as you can see within the pattern and it's for really a trendy kind of person. Now one thing I like about the Triangle Scarf is that all the bulk is kind of in front. So you can wrap this safely around the back of your neck, put it underneath the coat and the bulk is in front. So your jacket on basically doesn't have to be done right up to your to your neck in order to keep you warm. So it has a little bit of bulkiness at the front. Of course the fringing is completely optional and up to you. That's kind of a personal choice. But this is just a large triangle and it's made really easily and very quickly. So there's not a lot of thinking to this particular project. So without further ado let's grab our five millimeter size crochet hook today. Grab some Bernat satin and let's get started together right now. Let's begin working on this project together and we are doing the Big Fringe Triangle Scarf and we're going to create a slip knot using a five millimeter size H crochet hook today. Just create a slip knot and put it onto your hook and it says to chain four. Remember that the one already on the hook does not count as one. So we have one, two, three and four. Let's move on to the next part. In row number one all we just need to do is put two double crochets into the beginning chain that you started with. So just wrap the hook and just go into the very beginning chain and double crochet and we want to do that a total of two times and then the row number one is complete. So we're starting at the bottom of the triangle and working our way bigger. So we can stop as soon as we get to the size that we want as far as the um, child size or adult size and that's basically up to you. Let's turn and go up to row number two. So row number two we're just going to turn our work and we simply do this each and every time we go to start a row. So it doesn't matter which row you start on you're always going to do the same thing. So you're going to chain three, one, two, three and in the very same stitch of the last one you are going to double crochet two times. So you'll always do this each and every time you start a row. You are then going to chain one and then you skip over the middle double crochet and go to the end one okay and you're going to double crochet three times. So you're always going to finish on the end just like so with three double crochets into the final. This is what makes it grow into a triangle. Let me move you up to the next round, our row. Let's turn our work and go to row number three. So I already told you so the very first time we always start a row it's always chain three. One, two, and three and you're always going to double crochet into the same stitch two more times. So everything is in groups of three on this particular pattern. Okay once you get that done you're chaining one and go to the next chain one space and you're going to double crochet three times. So you're going to do that each and every time going across. So every chain one space is going to get three double crochets followed by a chain one and then the very last chain, the very last is three double crochets. So the ending is always going to end up being the same. So the very last stitch and I just dropped a stitch. Let me try that one again. So there's going to be three double crochets. Turn our work and move up to row number four. So let's turn our work now and chain three. So we're always going to start off chaining three. One, two, three and then always going into the very first stitch for two more double crochets and that makes it a group three at the beginning which is what you need. Then you're going to chain one, look for the next chain one space. Okay it's just a hole and you're going to fill it in with three double crochets. So it's like granny squares isn't it? Okay once you get that done you're going to chain one and then you're going into the next chain one space and put in three double crochets. See how easy this is? It's crazy. It's so easy. That followed by a chain one and then the very last one is going to have three double crochets right into the last ch turning chain there. 
So I'm gonna show you one more row because it's all the same and you can stop to the size that you want. So turn your work, chain up three, one, two, three, two double crochets into the same stitch followed by a chain one. Then next chain one space there's gonna be three double crochets followed by chain one. Next chain one space, three double crochets. Followed by a chain one. Next chain one space, three double crochets. Okay and then we're coming to the very end. Chain one and then at the end you're just gonna put in three double crochets. So for the adult size version the pattern is calling for you to get to the outside width. Let me just uh, finish this last one before I teach you that. So the very outside here on top this is gonna go around your neck. It should be about 42 inches and the number of balls for this will match out for that. So it needs four balls of the Bernat satin and for a child size they're claiming it's around 30 inches to 35 inches in order to do it if you wanna do that and then basically you wrap it around the neck as you see it within the model and then you're good to go. So how do you do the fringe? Let me cover that next. So this is how you'll do the fringe. The fringe are each 36 inches long in length and all you're just gonna do is do two lengths of 36 inches. So you're just gonna measure it out. So for tutorial sake I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do it here. So I just kind of fold it like so and I get my strings like so. Okay and then all I just do is cut. So I would do the same principle if it was 36 inches and then I will cut and then I will cut the loops that I have. There's only ever one loop on one side. Okay let me just take the other side, check for the loops. There should always be two on the other. So one side will always have one loop, the other side will always be three. So if the strings are not equal length, no big deal. You're gonna trim afterward anyway. So now what you're going to do is you'll take the string and it'll be much longer than this obviously but you'll fold it in half and you'll need a bigger crochet hook than the one that you've been working with because you have more strands on it. So just off camera let me just find a bigger hook to play with. So I got a six millimeter. So all you're just gonna do is that you're gonna come into a side edge and just be consistent wherever you're gonna grab it. You grab it in the same spot each and every time. Insert in, put the loop onto the hook, pull through and then just wrap everything around the hook and pull it through. So you just gotta give it a little bit of slack and a little bit of tender care and you can bring all the strings through. Okay and then that securely attaches it just like that. So it all depends if you want the fringe or not. Um, the fringe actually adds a little bit of uh, measurement to it and the fridge in this particular version goes all the way from the point all the way to the top. You can't see it on the model but it actually makes a lot of sense. That's why you see so many strands is that it's in each one going all the way up. So that's kind of a neat idea. This is the Big Fringe Triangle Scarf by uh, Yarnspirations.com. Enjoy this free pattern and until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarnspirations as well as the Crochet Crowd. .com. We'll see you. Bye bye.